All right, this is third grade, module four, lesson four. And in this lesson, we're going to relate the side lengths to the number of tiles on a side. And basically, what that means is we're going to be getting one step closer to that kind of like that standard technique for finding the area of rectangles. <clears throat> so the idea being, let's say I've got a rectangle right here, and I'm going to line up a bunch of these rectangles together to make a rectangle. Alright, so there is my rectangle. Now you can count and you can see that we have eight square units. So the area is eight square units. But the idea in this lesson is we're going to be using kind of like a ruler and you can see that this ruler is going to be showing that we have basically one, two, three, four tiles on this side. So I'm going to write in a four. And then you can see that we have, oopsies, um, you can see that we have, and I'm going to, let's see, ungroup. And then, down here, you can see that the, our ruler kind of shows us that we have two units down here. One, two, right there. And then you can see, all right, two times four equals eight, which is the exact same number of tiles that we see. And that's basically what students are going to be doing in this lesson, which is they're going to be using a ruler. Let's see if I can do this here. They're going to use a ruler and, whoa, I don't want that. There, there, whoa. there we go. <laughs> they're going to use a ruler to measure the lengths of each of these sides of the rectangles and they're going to relate that length with the actual number of tiles that they see. All right, so Ella placed square centimeter tiles on the rectangle below, and then she labeled the side lengths. So you can see that she labeled this side two, because there's two tiles going up and down, and then you can see she labeled this four, because there's four tiles going left and right, and if we wanted to count, we could count that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, whoa, seven, eight tiles. So the area is eight square centimeters. Now the thing that we want students to start seeing eventually is that we can multiply 2 times 4 and that gives us 8. And that's the idea of this video. So in this problem, we uh, have Kyle and he uses um, square centimeters tiles to find the side lengths of the rectangle below, label each side length, and then count the tiles to find the total area. So a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is first, what we can do is count the tiles. So we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we know that the area is twenty square centimeters. Now, what we want to do is we also want to label each side length. So when we label each side length, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tile and we're going to figure out how many tiles does it go, take to go across and how many tiles does it take to go up and down. So let's go across first. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So it takes five tiles to go across. So I'm going to write the number five. And then it takes one, two, three, four, four tiles to go up and down. So I'm going to label that four. 
And sure enough, you can see that our answer is 20, and 4 times 5 equals 20. In this problem, it says label the unknown side lengths for the rectangles below, for the rectangle below, then find the area and explain how you use the lengths to find the unknown uh, lengths and the area. Okay, so the idea being, uh, when it says right here, 2 inches, well, if this length here is 2 inches, what is this length way over here? It's also 2 inches. And then, if this length up here is 4 inches, meaning all the way across here, that means this length here is 4 inches. Now, we don't want students to, to just jump straight to the algorithm to find the area of this rectangle. Instead, we really want students to focus on what it means. So when this says we have 2 inches, and this says we have 4 inches, what that means is we've got some tiles here that start with the 4. says it's supposed to go 4 inches across. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our 4 inches. And then when it says 2 inches here, that means it's supposed to go 2 inches up which means I'm going to cut it right here, and there is my 2 inches. So you can see, when it says 2, there it is, 1, 2. And when it says 4, there's our 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we can count to find the area of this rectangle. We don't have to use any formula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, of course, the area area is equal to 8 square inches. And of course we do want students to notice though that 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And that is third grade module 4 lesson 4 where we begin the process towards that standard algorithm by relating the side lengths to the number of tiles on the side.